Hey, welcome to the video. Today we are going to see how to create your first Crisp plugin. What is a plugin? A plugin is used to add functionalities to your Crisp chat. Let's take for example our current plugins at Crisp. We have, for example, Messenger plugin. This plugin is used to reply directly to your Facebook messages using your Crisp chat. In this video, we are going to create your first simple plugin. To help you do so, we have created the Chris Marketplace. The Chris Marketplace is a website that you will use to create and publish all your plugins. In this website, you will also be able to set a price and all your settings for your plugin. So, are you ready? Let's get started. The plugin for this video is very simple. From there, you will be able to create a complete and complex plugin. All the code for this example is available on GitHub. You can find in the description the link to the repository. The goal of this plugin is just to respond whenever an agent or operator sends a message in a crisp chat. First, what you need to do is to download the repository. Now that you have the repository, it's time to fetch the dependencies. Now, what we need to do is to create a plugin inside the Crisp Marketplace. You will find the link in the description too. What you need to do first is to create an account. After, you will land on this page. We we'll click on New Plugin, we give it a name. Now that we are done creating our plugin, we will need to provide a new URN. So I will just leave the default one. The URN will be the unique identifier of your plugin. You will have an ID too. Now that we have created our plugin, we have all the necessary information to make our example work. First, let's browse inside the API tab and copy the identifier and key inside the project you have just downloaded, the example. Please keep this token private. They act like passwords. Let's browse inside the lib folder then Pong plugin, paste here our identifier, then let's take the key inside this field. You can find the plugin URL at the top of the page. Just copy, add it here. Now let's do some config inside the Chris Marketplace. We go inside the settings page and you can see here that we have settings. This waits a schema that will be used when, uh, whenever a plugin instance wants to save his settings. We have here a schema for this project. Please change the URN with the one that you have copied from the marketplace. Copy this and test our settings to check that it's valid and save. Okay, now let's provide an URL for the settings page. So the settings URL will be called when one of your customer wants to config his plugin. Here you need to provide a public IP with HTTPS. To do so, we use ngrok. Please install if you don't have ngrok. We will do ngrok http 1234. You need to copy the HTTPS address or it will not work. Add it here and you put slash config.html. Config.html is the page that gets served here. It's basically the HTML page 
representing the settings page. It gets served by our server. Don't forget to save. Now what we need to do is add a trusted website. A trusted website is a website that can be used for development purposes. So it's the only website that will work with your plugin before it's published. Press add trusted website. You can find the website ID of your website uh, in the settings, website settings, setup instructions, and you just copy this. Or you can find it inside the URL of your crisp chat. Now that our website is successfully added, we can move on. So the next step is, sorry, is to get our dependencies if you did not already. Now let's boot up our server. It's saying that it's listening on port 1234, the one that we put it inside our index.js. And it's the same as Hengrok. Please check that twice if it's not working. And we can see that we have one website that is connected to our plugin. So it's the website that uh, we just had it as a trusted website and with a default message. Let's change this default message. Let's browse inside our plugin to settings and send a test request. Here it's asking for a custom message. Let's just say, hey, I'm here. Save. You can see that it's saying that it's successfully updated. So now let's try our plugin inside our crisp chat. Create a new conversation. Call it test. I will put my own email. And now let's say hey. And you can see hey I'm here. So our plugin is working as expected. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for following me along. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to receive the latest news about CRISP. See you soon.